all right welcome back to uh tcg love and another commander deck opening i have two sets left the starter decks and dungeons and dragons today is going to be dungeons and dragons these are going to be last so i will do a little bit of a different video today i will open all four decks at once then i'm going to put them up on card market um i, I want to try out this way of doing it i don't know if it's fast or not but i would like your guys opinions if it's more fun to do it like that if it keeps i don't know if if it's you'll see basically at the end of the video uh after the video uh, the few people that still watch the video maybe can comment if it's more fun or not i'm rambling a little bit now all right so i have four decks does it say the name here? Oh shit, no, I don't know which decks these are. So uh, I will open each one of them. I paid 160 euros for all four. And uh, what do we have in here? There's no booster pack? I thought there's booster packs in there, no? Either way. So uh, I'll open all four and then I'll put them up on card market at the same time. Uh, Planar Portal. I don't know how much they are worth separately. I can check here. Planar Portal, you can get it on card market for 50 bucks, 55 with shipping or 60 with shipping. Uh, I don't know if these prices are correct because this is way too much money, I think, already. Uh, I bought all of the all four of them for 160, as I said. So let's see if we can make 160 back. So we got the commander here, Prosper Tomebound. And let's go quickly through the deck. Or maybe I shouldn't go through these decks. Maybe I should just open them and then afterwards uh, just go through the expensive cards. So this one, so if you buy it separately on card market, and I assume card market has the cheapest price. And then the two commanders uh, is 60 bucks with shipping. Prosper Tomebound, uh, Kara Zikar, the Eye Tyrant. 50 bucks without shipping, so let's say it's worth 50 bucks. Will we get 50 bucks from this one back? All right, so the same here. I'm not gonna open these ones. I'll just open the deck. Let's put this one here. Keep it a little bit cleaner all right so this one is this one, this one i guess aura of courage i'll check soon how much aura of courage is separately bunch of angels what is this white green and blue bunch of plants usual artifacts no yeah, cool artwork on these Dungeons and Dragons cards. Oops. All right, and the lands for mana fixing, and the commands in the back. Forgot them again. So Galia, uh, Kindle of Hope is the commander, and Storvald, Frost Giant, the Owl, second in command. All right, uh, let's check quickly. Our, our courage. is 40 bucks on card market without shipping let's see if it's worth 40 bucks next one is uh, which one is this i guess draconic rage So let's check the commanders first. So the commander is Vrondis, Rage of Ancients, Cloth, Unrivaled Ancient, and then we get, I guess, a bunch of dragons. But I don't see any dungeons. This is a cool art, Chameleon Colossus. All right. 
some sagas. All right, and some basic lines in the back. That's that. How much is Draconic Rage separately? Forty-five. So we are already at one hundred thirty-five. If I can't, if I count correctly, one hundred thirty-five. If you buy them separately. And the last deck is Dungeons of Death. Oh, there we. Go. Here we get the dungeons. Okay, the commander is Zephyrus of the Hidden Ways. Second command, Nihilor. Nihilur. Some Cthulhu esque monster. Alright, here we got the dungeons deck. Or you can see some reprints that should be worth a few bucks. Um, all right, lands. Oh, lightning reefs. Five bucks probably. And some basic lands. All right. So. These are the four decks. Um, Dungeons of Death is worth separately. Uh, 27 bucks. So 135 plus let's say 25 is 160 around. So uh, this is X around what I paid for them. So I, well, exactly what I paid for them, 160. Uh, if you buy them separately, 162, I guess, since this is 27 bucks. Um, let's see if we can make 160 back uh, after I put them up on card market. Uh, there's going to be one added, and then you we will have the full price of all four decks. So see you in a second, guys. All right, and I'm back with some good and some bad news. The good news is we got some free cards. Uh, the bad news is we have to sell a bunch of commanders for it, and uh, it's, it feels wrong. Um, but let's uh, go first through all the decks. So this first one, I think it was called... What was it called? I forgot already. Um, <coughs> you can go back in the video and check. Uh, these are the cards that I put up on card market now and that I will be selling. I'll go through them based on the value of them. So Prosper Tonebound, I put up for eight bucks. Uh, this is the commander, I think. And this is the se uh, second commander is 415. These are the two most expensive cards in this deck. So it's already kind of, I have to sell them. Uh, the next one is Vandal Blast, 345. Grim Hireling, three, uh, 320. Reckless Endeavor, uh, 190. Palisman of Indulgence, 155. And then Vujuka Bok is 99 cents and the rest is below $1. And these are all the cards that I'll sell. And in the end, all of them together are is 29.68. So, and I forgot again how much the deck was worth, but I think less uh, more than that. So on this deck, we didn't get uh, the money back, but with the next one already, it's gonna be insane. So uh, for the next deck, <clears throat> these are the cards that I will be selling and Heroic Intervention is the most expensive, almost the most expensive in the whole between all of them. It's 15 bucks. Uh, Sword of the Animist is 770. Uh, Pure Steel Paladin 745. Rope of Stars 570. Utopia Sprawl 485. Mantle of the Ancients 370, Colossus Hammer 340, Greater Good 215, Winged Boots 1 and 10 cents, and then Basilisk Collar in Nature's Lore is both 99 cents, and then of course the rest again below one dollar, making a total of 57.69. Nice, 57.69 uh, for this deck. It's more than uh, when you pay for it, and which means these cards are all the same. And this is 
uh, all for free. And this is exactly what I love about commanders. Uh, this is how I want my commander decks to go. Make the money back and keep the commanders and a bunch of cool cards. So these cards are basically for free if you buy this deck, even if you buy it separately. Which is pretty cool. I'll just go for them real quick. Some lands and then in the end there's the basic lands. Uh, this was a great deck. The next one is very similar to that. But for this next one we have to sell the commander. Because this is the most expensive card in the whole set. It's $15.90. Well, 15 euros 90 cents. Um, Cloth Unrivaled Ancient. I think this one I have to sell. About these ones I'm not sure. But I'll... I'll um, I'll get back to them soon. Uh, Cloth Unrivaled Ancient is fifteen ninety. I have to sell it, else I'm not gonna make the money back. And the next one is Maddening Hex, which is ten seventy. Druid of Purification five ninety. Dragonborn Champion five thirty. Cloth's Will three eighty. Anger three thirty. Kindred Summons two thirty five. Garuk's Uprising one forty five. Rishka's Expertise one forty. Heaven of the Spirit Dragon one dollar and nine cents and then the rest below one dollar summed up to a total of 57.14 again way more than the deck is worth when you buy it so that makes these cards for free as well and uh, there are even a few cards that i chose to just keep like these two mythics that are above 50 cents I sold cards above 25 cents. These ones were above 50, but I was like, nah, I already make my money back. I'll keep these two mythics, Dragon Master Outcast and Scorcher Forecast. Um, but yeah, if you want, you can have like, well, you can squeeze a, a dollar more out of this with these two cards. And these are basically all the ones that are free in the end. And the last deck, uh, not quite as good, uh, with the most expensive card being Want of Orcus, is 6.25, Lightning Greaves, 6.15, Phantasmal Image, 3.50, uh, Propaganda, 2.95, Propaganda, right? Yeah. Uh, Baleful Strix is 1.80, Nimbus Maze, 1.75, Swords to Plowshares, 1.34, High market 118 and the rest below one dollar. I'll go for them like this. <clears throat> uh, making a total of 2868. Uh, I think this deck is also if you buy it separately more than that. So here with these two, I'll lose money. With these two, I make money. So how's it gonna be in total? So I paid for all four decks 160 euros and the total between these is 172 um, euros, so 12 bucks profit, which makes me wonder if I should keep these two at least. Then I'm still, uh, then I still made my money back and I can keep these two commanders. Maybe they rise in price some in the future, maybe not. Maybe I should keep Cloth Unrivaled Ancient instead and then sell these two, but that makes all of these cards basically for free and I'm happy about this commander decks. Sometimes there are lots more times there are a win. <coughs> I didn't go through this one, right? Um, and here we can keep both commanders as well. So yeah, Dungeons and Dragons commander decks, I recommend them. They are worth their price. Um, and that's that. I'll put up the cards on card market. You can check in the link in the description how, like, while I actually sell them, how much money is gonna uh, I'm gonna make back. Maybe I have to lower some prices. I don't think so because the decks are already a little bit older, so the price is stabilized. So there's no overvalue which I have to adjust after, like, when the price drops. Like for example, during the pre-release. Uh, I think they're gonna stay at this price, so I'm pretty happy about it. <coughs> Check the link in the description for all the other data that I collected. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe and let me know if this 
um, way of going through them, like opening each deck first and then like a little edit. I put up all the cards on card market and then I go through each deck again and kind of go from them like this. If this is better than my previous um, approaches where I go one deck after the other. Uh, let me know to the few people that watch these commander deck openings. Uh, I would like to know your opinion on it. So peace out guys. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching and have a good day.